So now we will see how we can check if a number is positive, negative or zero in JavaScript. So guys, let us move to VS code over here and simply inside the programs folder, we are going to create a new file in this case. So as you can see, we have this check number positive dot JS file in this case. Now guys over here, we are going to create a new function and then we will name it as check number, which is going to take one parameter. So guys, basically this is the function name that is check number and then we have the number parameter that we are writing. Now guys, apart from this, you can also declare a function in another way as well. So let us check that as well, how you can write the function. So basically you can simply provide the name of the function that you want to give. So over here, we can provide the name of the function. It is equal to, and then simply we can use the arrow function over here. So guys, basically we had learned about the arrow function previously. So in this case, simply you have to provide the open and close parentheses and then then we need to use the combination of equal to operator and the greater than symbol in order to use the arrow function over here. And then after this, we can provide the body of the function inside the open and close curly braces. Now guys, in case if you have a single line of statement over here to be returned, then you can simply provide the expression over here. Let us say we can simply provide a plus b where we are returning the sum of a and b which are passed as parameters inside this open and close parenthesis. So this is a single line function that we have returned, which we can simply call by using the name of the function that is check number over here. Let me just comment out these lines of code. So basically we can provide the name of the function and then how do we call it? So basically we can simply provide the console.log statement over here and then we can provide check number and then we can provide two numbers that is 10 and 20. So guys, as you can see, we are providing two parameters over here. In this case, the check number function function which is the arrow function over here will be called and these two numbers that is a and b will be added and the result will be returned as the sum of these two numbers. So let us see what will be the output in this case. So when we run the node command on the terminal over here by using the name of the JavaScript file in this case, as you can see, we are getting 30 because 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. So guys, basically you can write the arrow functions as well in this way. So what we will do is instead of writing this particular function in this way we are going to write the function as the arrow function over here in order to find whether the number is a positive negative or the zero number so guys over here once again we will make use of the check number function name it is equal to and then inside the open and close parenthesis similar to how we provide the parameter over here we need to provide the parameter inside this open and close parenthesis and then equal to greater than symbol that is the combination of these two special characters which will make it an arrow function and then inside the function body we have to write our logic so guys basically we need to check whether this particular number is it less than or greater than zero or is it equal to to zero so if this number is equal to zero let us check that as well we provide three times equal to so that the type of this particular number is also checked so guys when we provide two times equal to the type will not be checked over here so even if we provide the string as the number in this case and it is equal to zero then it will be true but if we provide a string along with this three times equal to operator this will not work over here so let me just quickly show you that as well so basically we are are going to return zero in this case else we will say not zero so simply we will say return not zero in this case so guys basically we are using three times equal to over here so let us see what will be the output when we provide console.log statement over here and then we say check number and then inside the open and close parenthesis let's say when we provide zero in this case which should exactly match with this particular number that is zero we should get the zero as the return value so when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see it is saying zero right now but what if we provide this particular number as a string so let us check that as well we provide double quotes and then we provide the number that is zero in this case so since a type is string right now it is going to check whether the number that is coming 
is the type of that number is actually the integer or the string so if it is the integer then it should return zero if it is not the integer then it will say not zero in this case so when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal as you can see it is saying not zero that's because we have provided the string in this case and it is strictly checking whether this particular number is equal to zero and whether it is the actual number or not so this time it is not the actual number but it is a string and if we provide two times equal to over here there will be no type checking in which case even though if we are providing the string over here still it will match with this particular zero because internally the data type are getting converted over here and two times equal to will help us in order to get the true expression over here so when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we are getting zero right now because this particular string value of zero is equal to zero over here and there is no type checking that is happening so it is very important to understand this difference you should always be using three times equal to if you want to also check the type of this particular number that is coming as a parameter so guys i hope this was a helpful program for you as it might be asked in interview questions what is the difference between three times equal to and two times equal to over here now guys moving back to our actual program in this case we are going to check if the number is less than zero so basically we will say number is less than zero and before that we need to return zero in this case so basically we are going to return the string that is number is zero over here and if the number is less than zero what we are going to do we will return the number is negative in this case because it is less than zero and then if the number is greater than zero so over here once again we have the condition that number is greater than zero we can say return number is positive so over here we will say number is positive in this case so guys basically we have covered all the three scenarios over here and the number can be zero it can be a negative number or it can be a positive number in this case let us see the different scenarios over here so simply first of all we will provide the number that is zero over here let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see number is zero is getting printed because the actual number that we have provided is zero over here apart from this let us provide some more scenarios so let us say when we provide the number that is 50 6 over here and for the third statement let us say we provide negative 14 in this case what will be the output so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see number is 0 for the first statement over here and then we have number is positive for the second number that is 56 over here and the number is negative for minus 14 in this case so guys in this way you can easily write the program in order to check whether the number is positive negative or 0 by using these conditions over here and we have also learned about the arrow function in this case simply we can make use of this function name in order to call that function over here so guys it depends on your preference whether you want to use the functions in this way over here that we have defined or you want to use the function keyword in order to define your functions but you should be knowing the working of both types of function over here the internal working is same it is going to help you achieve the required functionality now guys what will be the output if we provide another statement over here and let us say we provide the number one over here what will be the output comment in the comment section below let us see whether your answer is correct or not so please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to check if a number is odd or even in javascript so stay tuned